Well, here we are now. We talk about oil pumps and all the good things and what improves it and the, a lot of common misconceptions we're going to correct. And also, we will discuss about the oil pressures and what in increasing it. And of course, clearances and the needed stuff to actually improve the flow efficiency. Just like cylinder heads, it has to flow well. So you know, this one is really good. To avoid spawn rod bearings, but also to unleash more power. C oil pump and then a late model B20 97 onwards B20 okay let's kind of remove the cover okay we're gonna speed it up a little bit so it doesn't get too boring all right the reason why we're just disassembling this is because the side clearances of the oil pump gears are is what reduces or actually wears out and you start to have low oil pressure so which leads to you know low oil volume and why do you wonder well because the oil pump gears are steel and the housing is aluminum so of course the softer material the aluminum will receive the wear before the pump gears all right here let's remove this oh in there okay let's wipe this off a bit with, with the tissue because it's kind of oily all right we will show you here the wear pattern and you get to remove this by resurfacing it all right wait so let's show you the oil pump itself all right here here after wiping it you can see people who claim that you know the pump they get the pump or they have a pump that's have that has a bigger oil pump gears when you look at this there's no way it can be bigger or even wider because look right okay anyways right here the clearances from the side play it actually increases through time through wear this part so on the oil pump housing itself we're actually limited with just resurfacing the surface or the mating surface. But in this instance, we usually don't resurface the oil pump itself, but the, but the oil pump cover. All right, let me show you here. You can see the wear is starting to set in on the housing itself because that's aluminum and this gear is steel. All right, Oops, sorry, there, okay. So let's return it and let's show you the other stuff. All right, there. Okay, with a cover. Here, you can actually see closer the wear there. You can feel the ridge. That wasn't there before. So as the mileage goes up, this wear increases and that increases the side play of the gears. It actually lessens the oil pump capacity. Therefore, it actually lessens the oil pressure, you know? All right, so let here. Let me show you a similar one, but this one is a VW Beetle oil pump by Shadek. Look, it's Bomba de Olio. This is also made in Brazil. And also, of course, in Brazil, they speak Portuguese. And as I grew up in Mozambique, I actually speak Portuguese. So yeah, it's there. As you can see in this, even the VW oil pump, the oil pump gears are, of course, steel. They're Shadek. All right. And of course, the housing is aluminum. And here, I, I inked up the flange. This way, when you resurface it, you can actually see if it's ever balanced or, you know, flat. Because we try to re reduce the side clearances. This way, it gets more efficient. Even the stock VW... It actually has a paper gasket. And so when you're building anything performance, everyone knows we, we don't use the paper gasket because it's not going to leak as long as it's flat. 
So it's similar to our Honda oil pump, I mean steel gears and aluminum housing, so we get the same approach. Okay, now, now let's go back to the Honda oil pump, alright. Of course, well, after we get the clearances correct, then porting it is next. And actually, a lot of people port it without setting the clearances and that's gonna make it lower on pressure. And that's when people say nah, they need a new, new oil pump. When actually, we don't usually always port it. Here, you port that opening kind of like a you know velocity stack entry to make it efficient and here uh, you can see there's a corner there we actually remove that this way the turn becomes a lot better all right and even jasper or ecu later is b20 the one that's been running since 2017 it revs to 9700 rpm it's not even ported but the clearances were corrected as well as my all motor d16 a6 it was not even ported but we set the clearances and that's why it's called blueprinting your oil pump okay here so so we can be clear about it or clarify all the things as the crank turns the gears turn the oil is sucked from here all right then feeds to the gears and then goes here and turns into the block this is the where the relief spring is the pressure relief spring it opens i think around 85 or 90 psi when it reaches that limit it opens and it relieves the oil here so look if you look at it the oil relief honda could have dumped it back to the oil pan right but hey they chose this area because as the oil is relieved from here when it reaches the maximum or the limit of the pressure it comes back to the oil pump gears this way it prevents or avoids cavitation that's how smart honda was so when you think about it shimming this to increase the limit that means even at red line you're actually causing the oil pump to cavitate that's quite dangerous so this is something that we don't usually shim when you think about it it's like running a two bar or three bar boost wastegate but your turbo is only capable of one one bar you'll never reach it right so why make it harder now here let me show you grumpy's article this is a v8 related it says here back in the 1950s and 60s, 60s it was common to pull the pressure relief spring retaining pin in the oil pump and the, that retains the pressure relief spring and insert a washer to shim it between the pin and spring and pressure to the spring this mod has zero effect on low rpm because it simply delays the pressure relief spring from opening until a bit more so or higher peak oil pressure is reached thus forcing the pump to build more pressure before the, re the relief o valve opened this was before we properly designed higher pressure springs were available this could be done but it frequently caused problems so hey you know what's up right so when you think about it why do they shim it and here's another one this one is specifically for a honda it says here here's an urban legend well obviously for you it's been rumored that increasing an oil pump spring pressure is a good way to remedy cavitation this is wrong the pump is designed to supercharge the inlet side with oil that comes from the pressure relief plunger that's what i said earlier when the pressure relief spring begins to open it helps feed the rotor more or oil and hold off cavitation yep added spring pressure prolongs the relief valve from opening at the desired time and stops the pump from helping itself to feed the rotor doing this makes the pump cavitate earlier not later the pump also d is designed to run lightweight motor oil the lighter the weight the faster it flows the faster it flows the more oil to pump the more oil to pump the less likely the pump is to cavitate all reasons why honda did what it did yep that is what i said earlier right so now okay let's go to porting the oil pump all right now here let's remove the gears we actually ported this and then cleaned it up and they just assembled it so let's remove this to show you guys and here as we showed earlier look at this now it's flared well like a kind of like a velocity stack right this lets flow inwards better and the corner here we actually removed the corner blended it well you can see it's through and through and this is much the same as cylinder head you port this too much you kill airspeed in this case oil speed so you know it's the air is still fluid so 
we don't really uh, you know like i said earlier we actually just blueprint the cover and get all the clearances good we rarely port the oil pump but hey on in times like this it's worth porting it to show you guys right all right let's put this back before we you know lose the gears again all right get this good all right there okay now let me show you the other one right there okay get the cover here's the cover of the b20 you can see the wear right okay let's put this on the side and let me show you the b18c oil pump that, that we have that we did earlier let me remove the cover or the back cover whichever you want to call it to show you guys we finished refers resurfacing it all right here okay now okay we gotta speed this up because it's gonna get too boring all right let's go faster now all right and you know what this the oil pressure is not always just the oil pump if you have looser bearing clearances like the main bearings and the rod bearings it kills oil pressure this is why if you've noticed most of our builds run oem main bearings if it's for the street okay here you can see so all resurfaced and you see the ridges are gone it's all good right i mean here at the bottom has a deeper ridge but we didn't remove that because it's going to get too thin but overall this is a lot better than before and of course when you get like 0 0.002 of a clearance that small it kills oil pressure look at this we haven't resurfaced this and that's probably more than 0 0.002 of a clearance so adding that side clearance to the oil pump gears reduces oil flow and look at compare this look it's good right yep going back to the main bearings this is why let's say on a sock or d16y8 you run a race bearing the mains it get it, it is too loose of course it would look like you have a broken or busted oil pump because the pressures are too low so 85 percent of the time our builds for the street we run oem unless we're building an engine for world time attack where you need an race bearing for durability the oem does more than enough good job all right here we close this up so okay the funny or interesting thing is that since the 80s this this has been a standard practice for vw air-cooled engine builders that's 40 years they've been doing this and it's been working and so this is what we do on the honda oil pumps and for the locals, we do this. We blueprint your oil pump or the oil pump for 5,000 pesos. You can send us your oil pump and we'll do all the rest of the work. And it's funny because when you think about it, this comes in standard on all our rebuilds. So when you're paying labor, it comes with this. Like you remember this latest series that we did with a VTI, which is a D16Y8. Look. Oh, and don't worry, we'll have the link in the description below for episode 1 so you can start on it and binge watch the whole series. Here is its D16Y8 oil pump. We disassembled it and you can look at the rear pump cover. Look at this. It still has the usual normal wear because it's a 97,000 mileage motor. You can see closer here. You can see the wear is going into the aluminum cover, right? Because it's a steel gear. So after we did the few touches of resurfacing, we had to blueprint this because, of, of course, like I said, it comes standard on all of our rebuilds. This way, we know it's going to be functioning really good here. After resurfacing, you can see the difference now. The wear ridges are gone. Right? I mean, it's still there, the deep ones, but overall, it's a lot smoother and less wear than previously. Look, right? This ensures the oil pump is functioning almost like a new oil pump. This way, oil pressures are fine. That's why during startup, on after we rebuilt this, the oil plate just comes off or turns off even before it starts running. 
the pressure is really good right so return this so that we don't start losing it we actually did this when we were doing the series and saved the video for you and as mentioned er earlier, ECU Later's B20 VTEC build, the video, you can click here, but also we'll have it in the description below so you can actually finish this video because we're going to mention a lot of important things a little later. And of course, as I mentioned also, my D16A6 that's on my ESI right here, you can click on this video, but again, it'll be on the description below for you guys to be able to check it. So if you're local, you can send us your oil pump and we can blueprint this exactly like this. Or of course, have your engine rebuilt by us because that comes free with this oil pump mod. So check out our page and you can message us there. This way you can get your build up to the next level.